Hi there, I'm Joshua Finn from JNH Aerospace. I'm Hope Finn. We are here to talk about the new 2021 Super Protégés for Science Olympiad competition. Notice that is hard to believe that it's already 2021. Oh, it's not 2021, it's but we're flying for that season. For that um, for 2020 we're gliders for the third year in a row. What what's up with that? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. We're not using vector board anymore. Vector board's gone, guys. Until unless one of y'all wants to make it possible again, I'd very much welcome it. I like vector board, but uh, we're using high load 60, which is the the good stuff. And uh, this is the most advanced glider ever produced for Science Olympiad um, glider competition. Go mummies. Alright, throw it. Throw it this way. Throw it this way. Hey, Kayla, look here. Throw it this way. You can do better than that. Throw it harder. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I can It's this one. Here. Yeah. Throw it hard. Yeah, throw it up and throw it hard. Go! Go! Ow! Oh. <laughs> Alright, try one more time. Uh-uh-uh, throw it the way I showed you. There we go. And Daddy was in the way. Alright, well, I'll get out of the way. All right, throw it like that again. Do that again. Throw harder, though. Throw hard. Come. Throw hard. Because of all the world events, uh, Science Olympiad has opted to keep Elastic Launch Glider as the middle school flying event, so we get to do another year of gliders. And I'm excited about that. I really enjoy indoor gliders. Uh, I personally have learned a great deal about indoor glider flying through uh, our Science Olympiad work. And those of you that have enjoyed over the past few seasons the Super Protégé, um, we are bringing it back. There are going to be some changes though this time. So the vector board that you've all gotten used to is no longer available. So uh, this aircraft is actually no longer possible to manufacture. So away it goes. Instead, we bring you the new Super Protégé for the 2021 season. It features the nose bumper that y'all have uh, come to appreciate. Uh, we've enlarged the vertical tail to get rid of that wobble that some of you have seen, um, especially as the weight goes up on these airplanes, sometimes they get a little bit of tail wobble. We've enlarged the vertical stab, so that problem has gone away. I have changed the wingtip profile, and I know it looks subtle. I don't know how many of y'all can even tell. There's a slight difference in that profile, and it makes a big difference on the glide transitions. This airplane is much snappier into the transition. We've got the little hook tips out here. I don't know if they necessarily help a lot, but they they look good and theoretically that should enhance performance at least a little bit. Um, and what I can confirm is this airplane at 4.2 grams outperforms last year's models in the 3.3 gram range. 
Uh, so we're getting equivalent times uh, with a, a heavier airplane. I didn't really try to build this one light. The second one I actually built at like 5 grams and it still flies very, very well. But things that this airplane features, we have blue foam on the flaps. You will need to be careful with this foam because it is very, very fragile. It is not like the, um, it's not like the vector board. It's a little more brittle. However, it's stiffer, so there are things you can do with the blue foam that you can't do with vector board. The adjustments stay in much better, so this, air, this foam does not take a set quite as easily as the vector board, so the airplane will hold trim better. This foam is a little bit lower density, so you can build it lighter. And for those of you that want to go crazy, not me personally, but those of you that want to go crazy, you can sand this foam. You can sand it if you're very careful, and you can get a profiled shape, uh, wings and tail. If you sand back there on the tail, you can eliminate all your nose weight. Uh, lots of cool options like that. Uh, this airplane remains compatible with our deluxe glider launcher, which I'm not going to fire it off on there, but we have the, the tail stinger and all of that. And for those of you that have forgotten, it's a trigger-launched glider launcher. Uh, or those of you that are new to glider flying as well, I shouldn't even assume that. The other thing that we've added, and, and this is an optional feature that I will mention, is that the wing is removable. So this is my other uh, super protege, and we'll go ahead and show you the major benefit to this is that you use masking tape to hold on, hold the wing on, which is allowed per the rules. The rules say no rubber bands, but you can use masking tape. And we have provided enough clearance on the pylon that you can get under there without um, damaging the flaps, which some of the other designs out there do have a problem with that, that it's easy to damage the flaps. But the result is that I can take that off. And now, instead of requiring a relatively large box, now my glider takes up that much space in storage. This also gives you some other options, so you could mount several wings vertically over your fuselages uh, with a, a jig in your box, and then there's less, dam less opportunity for them to get damaged in storage. So in terms of, of storage, um, this is the box that I use to travel around the U.S. with my own personal gliders, um, and a lot of them, uh, up until now, have not had, oops, have not had removable wings, so storage is a little bit interesting with them. And so what we have, if I don't destroy my own airplanes, uh, what we have is a whole bunch of airplanes that are stacked in on top of each other. Now this is still better than what I see most people doing, because the airplanes have dividers in here to keep them from rattling around. So I can, with these airplanes like this, stuck in there i can throw i can literally throw this box across the room and have it bounce off the wall and the airplanes inside don't get damaged if i have let's in let me room. interject we did have our um four-year-old carry this box through the airport on the plane through you know another airport he and it through tsa uh baggage check and all of that at at, at age four he and of none of the plane, because of the setup, none of the planes were damaged. Um, um, now, again, this is not ideal because we've got the airplanes stacked up on top of each other. But my, my point to you is that this is kind of what you want to be looking at for storing your airplanes. And so, and that's uh, the super light, super protege I made back when. It's been damaged a bunch of times and still flies great. But uh, what I would point out to you is that this airplane, um, you can fit into a box of this size with a little bit of care. There we go. Um, and then its wing, you know, fits in whatever way you want to fit it in there. Um, very easy to store like that. So a lot of the ways that we have seen kids storing these models is they put them in a Rubbermaid container, which is fine. But then they put bubble wrap all over them. 
and then you have the bubble wrap sitting on the actual foam and then it's you know it caught, warps, the, it airplane, warps so. the airplane so then you take it out to fly thinking it's trimmed out because i trimmed it out right before i came but then you find out no it's not trimmed out so that's why we're kind of we are we're going to be introducing a box uh for store for transporting your airplanes and it'll be compatible with uh with three different airplanes that we produce so it'll, well, actually four so it'll be compatible with the senior flyer it'll be compatible with the super protege and it'll be compatible with the stinger and also for those who fly technology student association it's going to be sized to fit our tsa airplane for the next season as well um, and so it'll be a little bit longer than this, it'll be uh, 21 and a half inches, uh, well, 22 inches long, I should say. Um, and so it'll be sized to fit uh, your various airplanes and you'll, you'll make your own fittings to go in the box per your specifications. But the, the bottom line is that prevents you getting in this situation where you're packing airplanes with bubble wrap or something like that, because bubble wrap damages the airplanes. It completely screws them up. Um, Whereas if you have solid fixtures like this, uh, or, or even just a box like this that, that keeps the airplane kind of corralled, that gives you a much better situation. And this is a uh, foam board that, that you see here. You assemble it with hot glue. Uh, the box takes, I don't know, 15 minutes to put together. Uh, and, and it's got a low profile, easy to transport. And I don't know if we're going to do Velcro on them. We pro actually, I probably am going to do Velcro just because it's really convenient. Uh, but the, the bottom line is you get a, a nice uh, setup like this. It's easy to transport. Sorry, I'm not going to include the nice clear plastic window. Um, plexiglass is a horrible thing to cut in your house. And so I can't do that yet. Uh, unless I want to set up a GoFundMe for, for, for doing that. Um, but anyway, the, uh, the bottom line is this airplane is very, very nice and compatible with storage and transport. Uh, it's, it's a consistent flyer. The foam is made to very tight specifications by one of our contractors. And, uh, I should add, we have, a, we have made the airplane longer than last year's. So, um... As you can see, it's just a little bit longer, uh, and it's longer at the back, and that gives you just that much better of a transition. And you can also see how much bigger the vertical tails are this time. Um, we've just found that they work significantly better like that, and there's no disadvantage to having a larger vertical tail. So you're going to see some flight footage of this airplane um, following this. Uh, I think it'll uh, get the point across as to the capabilities of this machine. So uh, as, as we're going in, like I said, to the third season of flying Super Protégés, I look forward to seeing you at Science Olympiad Invitationals and AMA Indoor Contests, because we are having one um, Columbus Day weekend in, uh, in Illinois at the uh, Rantoul um, uh, Hangar 3, I believe it is. So uh, it'll be an opportunity to fly these against the pros. Uh, hopefully we'll get to fly them next year at the Nationals in Arizona as well. So look forward to seeing you at all of those events and check out the Super Protege from j and Aerospace.
Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.